Hi, my name is Albert Baker. Uh, I'm the Global Tax Policy Leader for Deloitte. Uh, the 2015 federal budget was released today. I spent the day in lockup uh, going through the documents and speaking with government officials. I can't say that there are any huge surprises coming out of the budget today. In terms of big picture economic issues, uh, the government presented a financially responsible budget showing a surplus of $1.4 billion for the 2015-2016 year. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis the debt to GDP ratio, they're targeting a 28% ratio for 2017, uh, going down to a 25% ratio by 2021. Again, very financially responsible vis-a-vis -vis Canada's foreign peers. The budget contained a number of measures that are relevant for individuals. Uh, first, we have the tax-free savings account. Uh, the annual contribution limit is being increased to $10,000. Uh, next, we have the uh, Registered Retirement Income Fund, uh, where there's going to be a slower withdrawal uh, that's required, and that's going to increase the tax deferral that uh, seniors are eligible for. Both of these measures are consistent with recommendations that Deloitte has made to the Department of Finance uh, regarding the encouragement of retirement savings. Uh, the lifetime capital gains exemption for farming and fishing businesses is increased to a million dollars. And donations to charities uh, from the proceeds of sale of shares of private companies or of real estate uh, will result in a capital gains exemption on gains triggered upon the disposition of the shares or the real estate. Uh, there will be a simplified reporting of foreign assets where individuals have foreign assets of less than $250,000. The budget also contained a number of measures that's that are relevant for business. Uh, first, uh, the government reconfirmed its support of the G20 OECD project, which is referred to as BEPS, Base Erosion and Profit Shifting. Under that project, there are going to be recommendations issued to curtail international tax planning. Uh, the good news is that there were no new measures that were released today. Uh, unlike some countries that are jumping the gun on the BEPS project, Canada is waiting to see what recommendations are going to come out of the project before acting. This approach is consistent with Deloitte's recommendations in this area. Uh, a change for small business, we're going to see a re gradual reduction of the small business rate going from 11% down to 9% and it'll hit 9% by 2019. Uh, and also for business, uh, there's a new 10-year accelerated capital cost allowance program that was announced for manufacturing assets. Uh, it'll be a 50% 50, 50 declining balance program uh, and it replaces a temporary program uh, that had a 50% straight line methodology. Positive development is the announcement of a relaxation of a rule referred to as Regulation 102. Under that rule, foreign employers that have employees with Canadian business days have to withhold tax under all circumstances. Uh, under the new rule, uh, that withhold, withholding will not be required where an employee is treaty exempt and has not spent more than 90 days in Canada. This announcement was consistent with recommendations that Deloitte has made in this area. There are some financial services related anti-avoidance rules that are, were introduced as well. Uh, one is in regard to the so-called dividend rental arrangements. Uh, those rules are being expanded. And there's also an expansion of the anti-avoidance rules related to captive insurance companies. So one of the questions that one might ask is what wasn't in the budget that should have been in the budget? And in our view, from a competitiveness and a financing perspective, more could have been done in regard to encouraging investment in the knowledge sector. And some of the things that the government could consider in that space would include the introduction of an angel tax credit for venture capital type investments, uh, expanding the refundability of uh, the so-called shred credits, uh, scientific research and experimental development credits, and introducing a patent box uh, to further incent commercialization of intellectual property. Also on the personal tax front, uh, we think that the personal tax regime could be made more competitive relative to our foreign peers by increasing the income threshold at which the top rate is, is reached. Overall, this was a financially responsible budget with no huge surprises.